to give you the inside track information so that you don't really have to think too much, right? Joining me now is fantasy expert Jim Sonis, and he has done the research, like I said, so you just absolutely don't have to. Jim's going to give us a player from each salary tier that we should get into our lineups. So, Jim, good morning. Who is on your list this week? Yeah, I'm pretty much in agreement with everyone back in the studio about how this game goes. And that's heavily towards the Ravens, which does influence the way we look at these lineups here. And it does start with Lamar Jackson. That salary is way high at $17,500. But honestly, who cares? Uh, with the way that he's been playing and with the way this game is expected to go, you want Lamar Jackson in there. He may run less with that quad injury that he has, but I don't honestly care. Nobody else is anywhere near him. So it is Lamar Jackson or bust for me. Then we're going to jump all the way down to Justin. Tucker. I think that Mark Andrews is interesting at 12,000. Keep an eye on his health. But outside of that, I like Justin Tucker a lot because you want to use kickers in fantasy when a team is heavily favored because it means they're going to score more points and they're more likely to settle for a field goal when they're ahead than when they are trailing. The Ravens here, 14 and a half point favorites. The wind just five miles per hour. We know Justin Tucker is an elite kicker, so I like him a lot for fantasy for this weekend. It is a little bit boring. I also like Jamison Crowder on the Jet side because we do have to use at least one Jet per lineup on FanDuel out of our five slots. I think that Crowder is a way to get access to the Jets without breaking the bank because he's only $8,500. And if you look at the games since Sam Darnold came back, Crowder has 21% of the team's targets. That is the most on the team. And he doesn't have a reputation for being a downfield guy, but he does get some downfield work too. So I think that Crowder at $8,500 is a good way to get exposure to the Jets without paying a whole lot for it. And finally, Marquise Brown has a lot of imperfections in his profile. But he's $8,000, and I think that that helps account for that. He is a crazy talented guy. He has the ability to pay off that salary with just a couple of targets, and he may get just a couple of targets, but I think that's totally fine here at $8,000. He is crazy cheap. So, again, keep an eye on Mark Andrews at 12000 because if he's able to go, he is the top receiver, the top pass catcher in this offense. But if not, I think that Marquise Brown is the best way to get access to this Ravens team it, from a pass catching perspective. And I do like him quite a bit at 8,000, whether Andrews plays or not. Awesome stuff. Thanks, Jim. Love your information. You can get more of Jim's awesome research in his podcast. It's called the Heat Check Fantasy Podcast. It's available every Monday and Thursday on the Number Fire Daily Fantasy Podcast feed. Thanks so much, Jim. Hey